Well, tonight we're bringing awareness to prostate cancer. There has been some progress over the last 20 years, but more men are surviving and still it's predicted though that more than 34,000 men will die from it this year. And by the way, 11 Alive is the host of the prostate cancer awareness event today, emceed by our very own Jerry Carnes, who's actually a prostate cancer survivor. And Jerry has a new look at the new technology helping to save others. I take one day at a time. 22 years after surgery and radiation to rid Chapman Carruthers' body of cancer, it's back. The disease that started in his prostate is now in his lymph nodes. And I expected it at some point it was going to come back, but I didn't know when or, or how long. And I think 22 years is, uh, I was probably on borrowed time. Advances in detection and treatment over the last 22 years are working to his advantage. MRIs are helping urologists find cancer they otherwise might have missed. Often, prostate cancer doesn't need immediate treatment. Molecular tests are helping there. Is this something that we uh, need to treat very aggressively, or is this something that we can just watch indefinitely? Uh, on the other end, uh, we've developed some uh, targeted therapies for disease that's beyond the prostate. It all begins with screenings to detect the possible presence of prostate cancer. Proceeds from a new all cancer license tag will go to Georgia Corps to help nonprofits with free screenings. These funds will go to Georgians who are uninsured or underinsured and they just don't have access to free screenings. Prostate cancer screenings dropped dramatically during the pandemic. Organizations like Prostaware and the Georgia Prostate Cancer Coalition are urging men to go back to the doctor. Getting a test won't hurt anything. It takes nothing away and finding out tells you everything. It wasn't really a total surprise. Future tests will determine Chapman Carruthers treatment this time around. His hope is in knowing the options are far greater than they were during his first battle with cancer.